A new leather maker and design company that got their start during COVID, a husband and wife duo both brought their talents to Korea Creative. We have their micro bifold minimal wallet number one, so let's get into it. This packaging is amazing. Look at this. This is a melted wax seal and we have what is a leather stamped tag to it. This is just impressive. Just look at that. Well, let's open this up and see what we've got here. Let's the wallet and here we go. Ooh, I ordered this and uh, just remember we buy all the wallets we review. Got this with the natural leather and the Bordeaux color using a silver thread. You can choose your first and second leather color as well as the thread and this is what uh, I chose. So let's get a quick look here. Man, this just looks so nice. Nice stamp here. Very nice. Sewing is double stitched where it needs to be. This is really, really quite nice. Now let's move on to the feature review. We see here we have nothing on the front, but as we move to the back, we have a card slot. This is a quick access card slot here. Love this concept. As you know, I think every wallet should have a quick access card slot. If we move to the interior, we see that immediately we have yet another card slot here, and this is a piece of leather that's wrapped around. So you provide access to two cards here. If you go behind it immediately, this is where cash goes right here. So this is nice, cash folded once for the majority of currencies or in thirds or fourths. And then we have one more card slot here, another here, and another. So we have really four card slots and avenues for cash and also a quick access card slot on the front. And that's a quick review of features of the Korea Creative. Measures 3.9 by 2.9 by 0.5 and it weighs 64 grams or 2.3 ounces. So I got six cards in there, nine slips of cash. Taller currencies like yen or euro just didn't quite work and you only had to fold the rest of them once. Minimal carry option, probably three cards. Reasonable is five. Company says up to seven cards. As you can see, it goes into the front pocket or the rear just fine. It will work in either location without an issue. Now the company started in 2019, Frank Correa Jr. and his wife created this interior design business. As a mechanical engineer, uh, he really was busy, but he enjoyed leather crafting, so much so that he did this during the uh, COVID period and began to open up his own shop, begin to sell, and then they merged the interior design and the leather crafting he did into a single website. This is designed and made in the United States. It is from a full grain veg tan, four ounce Italian Pueblo leather. It uses tiger thread very nicely uh, to pull it together and the edges are burnished very well. With this uh, choice of natural and this Bordeaux, you can really tell the difference in the different layers we have here. And it's just nice, uh, nicely burnished. It just works well. You can see how the cards fit in here. I like this leather piece that wraps around. So it provides access to cash in here and you can have more than one card. These in the rear would probably be lesser used cards. And of course, this will expand as you use it more. It's priced for $90. Now, you know I'm always in for a wallet with a quick access card slot, like the one in the exterior here. I really like that. And like I mentioned, I like this folded leather piece in the interior. So many areas to put cards in here and it really works well for cash in this small footprint. This is very creative and I like it. So now into the final score. For quality of five, price of three, features of three, usability of four, and perception of four. That gives us a great score of 40 out of 50. Thanks for joining us. We really like these little known leather makers like Korea Creative. We really like to find those. So if you have any out there, send them my way, put them in the comments. We'll see you in the next review. Bye.